Sensei Buck Snyder. I'm a martial artist, nature lover, and total nerd. Come have fun with Sensei in the Wild. Hey, what's up YouTube? We're here. I talked about in my five line skink video. This is the five line skink we have. We're setting him up a little terrarium and uh, we're going to show you progress on the terrarium and we're just starting to set it up right now. And this is the first step. We've got a, a, a river rocks down in the bottom down here and we've got a log where he can come around and run in and we're going to add several more layers of different substances for him to be able to bury in and have plants and all this. But this is just step one. So I wanted to show y'all every little piece of this as we go along. So when you see the final product, you can realize how good of a little home it's going to be for him. Okay guys, video two uh, on the vlog, we're setting up the terrarium for the five line skink. If you look here, we found a home for it now. We got it in its spot and here's what it looks like. Bam, that's it at this stage. Right now, just to give you a little recap, We've got uh, river rocks down here on the bottom. We've got a substrate of soil actually from this area where the skink normally lives and he's comfortable in. On top, we have um, coconut fiber and cypress mulch mixed in. And in this corner over here, I have moss. We've got his little drinking area. We've got these rocks set up for a basking area in the middle. And we've got the logs that he can walk on and if he feels like climbing. Okay, so this is the beginning of his terrarium. We'll add more plants and more stuff later on. So here he is in the container. Let's go ahead and add him. So I'll put him in here. And I'll give him a little slide down into his new home. Touch his little butt to get him to run. There we go. And these little guys, they naturally love to dig. So he might find a little hole and move into it right now. All right, so that's the second video. We'll come back with you with another third one. Thank you. Okay, guys, an update on the vlog. Uh, for the aquarium, we got the, I'm sorry, terrarium. We got it set up here. Uh, we moved it into the guest bedroom now, and we got it up here on the dresser where you can actually see it. And uh, we got the little skink in here living, and we've got crickets. You'll see this thing. This was where we bought the baby crickets, and there are mealyworms all in there. And we got the heat rock over in that corner, because when you set up a terrarium, you have to have a hot side and a cold side for reptiles. So we got the hot side over here and the cool side over here. But this is only a temporary setup. Uh, we're going to move him in. One thing about skinks is they love to have a lot of room to roam. And this aquarium is a proper size for a small skink, but as he gets bigger, he's going to need more space. So if you look over here, we have a giant tank. We're going to use this big sucker here, and we're going to create a terrarium for him in here. And uh, we're going to you know, put all, just like that, all the different substrates down here for him to bury in. We're going to put plants. We're going to even put a water feature. We're going to give him a completely... Uh, perfect environment to grow up in and live in and be happy in so uh, just want to give you an update this is the empty tank next one you'll see should have some stuff in it and uh, we'll give you an update thanks